And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring you another Starfield Creation Kit Supplemental video. This is Supplemental 1A, that's right, we're going way back to the beginning because this is super important. I didn't realize this into December, and if I go back to my tutorial creating history, yes, I had no idea back then. And I only learned it in December, and I wanted to get back to this, to this topic sooner, but I just couldn't get to it just based on what was going on with my schedule, but we're talking about it now. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. I want to give a mad shout out to our patrons and supporters, program supporters. Thank you so much for all the love and support as well and dedication to help maintain and continually build what we're doing here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, one big thing as well, all Patreon funds that are collected this month, in the month of February, and to our campaign to, to support those affected by the LA County wildfires that will be donated to, um, yeah, to support those affected by the LA County wildfires. If you want to donate to our campaign, you can go directly to supportla.jramosworks.com. We're working with several people to make this happen, but yeah, we're going to make this happen in the month of February. So be on the lookout for more details on that. But yeah, let's talk about what we're talking about today. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. Here we go. Big PSA. It's simply this. Export your project to an ESM file. And the reason why is that will give you the most accurate experience of what your creation is doing and how it should work. Because the ESM file, is that's what you actually publish. And I didn't realize this at first because I was always working off the ESP file when testing it in-game. And you could see that for the rest of the tutorials of the series from here like to like, tutorial number 22. I exported, I always tested on the ESP file, all right? Because it worked. It seemed like it worked until I was working on Ramtech AI, the prologue, and I couldn't figure this out for the longest time. It's like, why is the game, why did the game keep on crashing when, because in Ramtech AI, it's based in Sedonia. When I go to Sedonia, leave Sedonia, and try to come back, it crashes. I never understood that. I thought maybe it's nav mesh. Maybe there's some crazy object in there that I didn't like. I don't know, and I went through the whole thoughts like, do I just need to create a new location for this idea, for this concept? Do I need to have like this, this creation not be in Sedonia? I didn't understand it. It's like, was there like, was there something with Sedonia that created issues? No idea. All right, no idea until I decided, you know what, let me just, and it, it took weeks for me to say, hey, let me just set it as an ESM file. I export an ESM file and taste and test off an ESM file, and um, and it worked. So that's, and, and that's I think that's the crazy part because you, you when you're testing on ESP file, it seems like everything's working, right? There's no warnings, there's nothing in there, or it doesn't just crash right away. But yeah, the appropriate method is to export to an ESM file. So if you wanted to know, ESM stands for Elder Scrolls Master, and ESP stands for Elder Scrolls Project. So going back to the roots of the creation kit, that's where it started, and that's where we build off from. So, that's um. If that's good enough for you, if you understand that, it's like okay, I know exactly what you mean, Jeremy. Good. You know, like, but from from here on, I'm going to start explaining and and showcasing what I was going through. I'll go through that. But here we go. How do you do this, right? How do you export to a master file? I kind of showed it in the tutorial one, but I had no idea what I was doing there. So this is what you're doing. You're going to file convert active file to so you make sure your ESP is loaded all right and then convert to either a small master medium master or full master this is dependent on how many records your um, project your mod your creation is using so generally I mean based on the tutorial where you are at now it's gonna be a small it's gonna be small you only like created a, um, a chest right you only modified a chest um, a container but as you can see here, you can you can get an idea from the top here, right? This one, Ramtech AI, the the prologue that I created. This one is based on the ideas that I'm using is a medium master. So, and I have 55,720 IDs remaining. So, if I use up that many IDs, I need to start working with a full master. So, yeah, that's what it is. So, that's what it comes down to, like Ramtech unlimited the kiosk that I I created that's a small master all right so 
avoid this. Avoid this compact active file form ideas for this. So avoid that. Avoid that. Just go to convert active file to small, medium, or full. Okay? Okay. In the future, you'll be talking about creating archives. That's where you pack all your, um, in the future, like if you have some additional scripts that you're using, if you're using some custom meshes, some custom textures, shaders, whatever it may be. So those are like, think about the additional assets to help um, make your creation or mod run. So yeah, like, um, but yeah, we'll touch on that later. But for the most part, if you're testing something and you wanna play it in game, use a master file, all right? Let's demonstrate. Let's go through the demonstration process. So here we go, I, let me go to my data directory. I've already expect, ex, um, already saved the SP. Is that, what, is that what it is? Hold on a second. Hold on, go to, let me refresh, there it is. Yeah, so I have the SP saved. I also have an ESM. So those are the two ones I want. I'm, I'm going to demonstrate what happens. Like I'll show you what my experience was from exporting to an e or saving as ESP and using the SP in game as the plugin versus using the, um, the, uh, was it master file? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I say, wait on a second, hold on a second. Maybe that's just plugin. Maybe it's prod. You know, no, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Let's go in game, guys. So this is going game. Let's go ahead and show you what my load order is. So let's fast forward to the load order. All right. So here we are at the load order. I have my ESM for the unlimited kiosk. I also have the ESP file right here for Ramtech AI. So that's Ramtech AI. Ramtech AI, the prologue, the ESM is here. This is the published version. So that's what's going on. So we currently have loaded just only those two files or two um, two plugins. All right. So the ESP, the project. Yeah, I think it's Elder Scrolls project. It should be Elder Scrolls project because all these are plugins. Yeah. Okay. We'll call it that way. We'll, right? Right? Is that right? Is that right? We'll, okay. We'll leave it at that. There we go. So let's check it out. Let's go into it. Let's load the game. I am on Mars. Yeah, we're on Mars. Let's go to Mars. All right, so here we are on Mars. We have the ESP loaded in. There, my my creation is right there. All right, my creation is right there. We're using the ESP file, and this is the issue that I was dealing with. So I go here. I mean, well, I could just load in Mars loadout. So I mean, I it didn't really matter. So I'm what I'm gonna do is just go to my map and just travel into space. All right, and then I'm gonna try to go back to Sidonia, just land. All right, here it comes, here it comes. Boom, crashed, right there. So that was what I was experiencing for like weeks, and I was trying to figure it out, was it the nav mesh? Was it some kind of crazy item? Let me rebuild things. So wasted a ton of time just because I wasn't using a master file as a plugin to test this out. So let's fast forward again, just show you the difference. If you get it already, you're good. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you the difference. Let's go. Okay, we're back in the load order. Let's go ahead and remove the ESP and go back to the ESM file. So this is the ESM file. Load it. And while we're loading, let's fast forward to Mars. Okay, we actually loaded up before landing in Mars just to make sure that the plugin is fully unloaded, I guess. I think that's what I wanted to go with. So, um, yeah, just to demonstrate this whole piece from a clean perspective, coming in and landing into Mars for the very first time. We'll see how this goes. Okay, here we go. Just duplicating what I did before. I kind of went over to this area, right? Right, that's what I did. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and go 
teleport back into space. And let's go back and land. Hey, there you go. So there it is. So that was, and that was it. That's the funny thing. That was it. And now I'm wondering, like, were those were there issues that I was having before that could have been solved if I was just testing on the master file? Versus the project file. So yes, there you go, guys. Wanted to put this one supplemental. Definitely wanted had this on my mind for a while. Finally got to it. Hope you hope this is helpful. If you're experiencing issues and because you're working on the project file versus the master file, hopefully this solves it. But other than that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels. Everything does help out. Special shout out to all our. Um, um, patrons and supporters of our programs without you like uh, I mean you're just helping us build continually build even more so thank you thank you thank you and of course I also want to say this don't forget that for the whole month of um, for the whole month of uh, wait is this what's, going, what's this doing oh hold on a second for the whole month of February this is what I wanted to show boom we are fundraising to support those that are affected to the LA County wildfires. Check it out once again at supportla.jramosrex.com. Beyond that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. We will see y'all next time. Peace out. Sending your hearts, guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support as always. Peace. <laughs>